Hello, my name is Rob and I'm in my second year studying Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic. So why did you choose to study Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic studies? Well, I chose to study um, Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic because it's probably the best combination of history and language, especially the early medieval period, you can actually find on the course. It basically covers everything from the 5th to the 12th centuries, doing pretty much the whole of northwestern Europe which is a range you don't really find on many of the courses. It's perfect for someone who really wants to look at history and language in detail, as well as getting the chance to study the original manuscripts in a first-hand location as well. And why did you want to do the Cambridge course specifically? Well, with Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic, Cambridge is the only place in the world to actually offer it. So if you're wanting to look at the combination I just mentioned before, you have to come to Cambridge to do it. Um, it's a completely unique course and definitely regarded as the best one like it in the world, being the only one. And how did your expectations, since you're in your second year, how were your expectations different from the course in reality? My expectations of the course really weren't that dissimilar to what I actually found when I got here. The information published on the website is very, very accurate as to what you get. In many ways, it might be even slightly more involved than you get, than is suggested looking at the course beforehand which I would say certainly is not a bad thing. What's the best thing about your course? The best thing about Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic is probably the course itself. The range of study is absolutely superb. I mean, very few places give you the opportunity to look at such subjects in such detail and in such a great combination. The course mates themselves are superb, but the course itself is really what makes it absolutely outstanding. So, how do you find the workload? The workload is, I won't lie, it's relatively challenging, but it's far from unmanageable. It's, I mean, in your first year, you will average about an essay a week, together with some translation, which won't take too much of your time. It's all perfectly possible. It does increase as you go along. I'm currently probably at the busiest phase of the entire course, but still, I'm not struggling with the workload, but it's a good amount. And what's your typical day like? Well, my typical day, it tends to be lectures in the morning, uh, not too many being an art subject. I tend to have a couple of lectures most mornings, and then usually spend some time over the departments, both socialising and getting work done over there, especially in the libraries. Normally spend some time in the library during the first part of the afternoon before returning back to college to do a bit more work really, and then usually spend a couple of hours over dinner with friends before taking the evening to cover a bit more. Um, usually it's, the workload isn't too heavy, so therefore you do get your time to relax in the evenings. I often find myself able to socialise, but sometimes you do get a bit more work. Personally I work well at night, so I tend to work late at night. And what's the best thing about being at a manual? Probably the best thing about being at a manual for me is in many ways the location. It's very close to the centre of town, so very easy to get to everywhere, but also slightly off the tourist trail, so we're not really disturbed as a college. It's nice and quiet, nice and friendly, and still very convenient for everything. And what advice would you give to prospective applicants? I would advise prospective applicants to read around the subject a bit. It's a course where you're not expected to have any prior knowledge, but it does help for interview and when you arrive to have done some reading around the subject before you arrive. There are reading lists on the Anglo-Saxon Norse and Celtic website as suggested ones for beginning.